Hey everyone, this is Tankenstein, and in this video I will be going over everything having to do with War Bonds, including what they are, how to earn them, and how best to spend them. Please subscribe if you'd like, but either way, I'm going to try to make this a quick video. Let's get into it. So, to start, War Bonds are essentially rewards that you can earn and accumulate over time by completing special tasks on a daily basis. These can be completed with air, ground, and naval forces. Once completed, you will be able to earn 50 war bonds plus around 1,000 silver lions. These war bonds can be exchanged for a number of special rewards that you can find right up here. From the war bond screen, you can select any number of items. Be aware that you may need to fulfill special requirements before using your war bonds on a special item. For example, the larger the war bond cost, the higher of a level of shop that you may need. You can earn a higher level shop by completing more of these special tasks I mentioned earlier. So as you can see down here, I'm only at level two and you can actually measure your progress right here on the bottom between level one, two, three, four, and it gets tougher as you go along. Now shop level resets on a monthly basis. Interestingly, however, your war bonds will not reset on that monthly basis and can be stored for when you finally decide to use them. Further, you may see that you need special tasks uh, completed before you can access certain items. These tasks can be purchased with war bonds and are essentially more difficult versions of tally tasks. For example, I already have one going and uh, really you can do them at the same exact time as your regular war bonds. So if I were to go over here to tanks, this is what a special task looks like and it's a little bit more difficult at, uh, compared to regular tasks. As you can see up here, I need to get in place one through three and I have to win a match in ground A, B. Alternatively, you can select your daily task right there and just see what that is. And you can actually change out your tasks, uh, which is a really, really cool feature of, uh, of this. So if you're not really feeling a task for some reason, you can switch it out. And you can actually do the same with special tasks. So this all said, I would spend my war bonds on individual boosters for first. So if I were to go back here, you can see there's a 75% booster. You have a 300, 500%, uh, 150%. Uh, and really, I would just do that because they only cost around 10 war bonds each. And you can only buy one of them per level per month. If you feel that you can get to rank five and complete all of the special tasks required, so you need 12 special tasks for these, 14 for this, uh, for level four stuff, you need three special tasks, only one for level three items, then I would definitely recommend going for top tier rewards because they are excellent options. These rewards will change month to month. So what you may see here, the independent, the Chiha shortgun, all these things, for example, they may not be there next month and actually likely they will not be. So additionally, if you are on the fence as to if you want an item uh, this month, you can typically purchase any given month's items up to seven days into the next month. You cannot, however, reach new shop levels or, or earn special tasks for the previous month in that seven day grace period. As I just alluded to it, special tasks also reset on a monthly basis. So all of these are gone on a monthly basis. So make sure that you complete as many as you need and purchase whatever you want because if you get a lot of special tasks and you just do not spend them, they will disappear. So all that hard work and all those war bonds will be for nothing. These essentially cost an extra 360 war bonds because you have to complete 12 of those tasks. It's a pretty big deal. But that all said, again, thank you guys all so much for watching. It means a ton to me. Please subscribe if you learned anything, a thing or two, whatever, if you like this video. But that being said, I'm all for the night. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great night. Take care, everybody.